Four goals from United at Old Trafford. Two goals from Martial. One from Rashford. One from Greenwood. Three points and back up to sixth in the Premier League. Four points off the top four. I'll take that as a Christmas present from United. And we needed that after the horrendous, humiliating defeat against Watford. And that first 20 minutes filled me with fear. Because Newcastle and that damn ginger bastard, Longstaff, he scored again. And United were horrendous for the opening 20 minutes against Newcastle. Could have been 2-0. Awful defending, split centre-backs, people in the wrong positions, letting Longstaff even get that shot off. Terrible. But United were back level within seven minutes. And from that point onwards in that game, United were in total control against Newcastle. Greenwood's goal, fantastic finish. Rashford, a great finish across from Wan-Bissaka with the assist. And then Martial making it 4-1 with a cool, ice-cold finish. There are plenty of reasons to be positive about that game from United. When we went 1-0 down, I was expecting the worst because I don't really think we've seen too much from this United team when we're down to fill me with any confidence. But to the credit of the team, we went at Newcastle and we had the quality of the finishing that mattered most. Martial with the equaliser, Greenwood. Another goal for the kid, man. At 18, he seems just far ahead of where he should be. It all comes very easily and very naturally to him. And you can see why Solskjaer says that he's the best finisher at the club. Because you can clearly see that he is. Scores with his left foot, right foot, inside the box, outside the box, cutting inside, cutting outside. He scored such a massive variety of goals for someone so young and it just looks natural to him. And he's a confident player. Really looks like an absolute star. And to see all of United's front men scoring, Martial, Rashford and Greenwood, amazing, major, major, major positive, I would say. And Rashford again. What a great header that was. Doesn't really score headers. Great leap. Fantastic cross from Wan-Bissaka. Look, real positives there. It's, a sh it's, the, it's the, the yin and the yang of United. That the, the, the United that sometimes turns up and the United that turns up in other games, like the Watford game. That should never have happened against the bottom of the Premier League team in Watford, but it did. And then we go and score four at home against Newcastle, and it could have been five or six, Martial hitting the post, and we have plenty of other opportunities. Obviously, United's attacking impetus went when we took Rashford off, and we took Martial off. Mata came on, Lingard came on. Lo and behold, we didn't really have much going forward. But at that point, we were allowed to. We had given ourselves a position where we could rest our players and they both went straight down the tunnel and I hope that was just a precaution more than anything else. What else to talk about? Paul Pogba. Anybody who thinks that this United team doesn't need Paul Pogba really needs to get their head checked. So far above any other midfielder that we've got. And we need him starting week in, week out. Because imagine we had a midfield behind Martial, Greenwood and Rashford that could deliver passes key incisive passes to them week in week out there's so much talent in that front three but we haven't got the midfield to make the most of it when they're on when they're singing like that i think Pereira did actually quite well in the number 10 position certainly more in that role than lingard has ever done recently and Pereira's ever done recently good performance from him clearly the position that we need strengthening still in the january transfer window drop an attack in mid in there or maybe just play Pogba there and sign a powerful central midfielder, you can see this United team. Look, next week, we might go and lose again, and it's all going to be doom and gloom. And the up and down, this is what you get with an inexperienced and young team under what is an inexperienced and young manager in Solskjaer. The peaks and the troughs are sort of to be expected. But United, to really take steps forward, have to make sure that this consistency is a habit that gets built back into the team. That at Old Trafford, we do slip four past teams and we comfortably come away with three points on what was a very good afternoon overall for United. The first 20 minutes, as I said, bad. Horrendous defending. Everybody needs to improve in that respect. And that's certainly gone downhill from what I think was a much better defensive setup in the start of the season to where it is now. But four goals. 
push that Watford game to the memory and United just need to build on it. It's going to get busy in January. We've got two games against City in the League Cup. I think we've got Liverpool away as well. The FA Cup starting. January onwards is where the season really kicks on. And Solskjaer needs to build this momentum back into the team. I don't know why we just can't do it. As I said, I think it's down to the experience of the team and the young players. But we have to be able to get a level of performance week in, week out. We can't just go from a 9 out of 10 team to a 1 out of 10 team. And then back up to a 7 and then back down to a 2. We need to find that consistency. And until we find that, we can never properly challenge for the top 4. But heading into 2020, United are currently four points off the top four. I'll take that. And if Pogba can come back into this team now and fill that creative hole that we've had in midfield and we can get Rashford still scoring, I think he's one goal off Lukaku's tally last season and it's not even January yet. Goal scoring form of his life. And Martial bagging a couple. Greenwood coming in. Goals from different places. We're not relying on one player. Got to be happy with that. Martial for me, man of the match, easily because they were two fantastic goals. Three points, four points off the top four. Happy days. Let's ignore, let's not ignore. Let's forget about that Watford game. Let's try and continue building this momentum. Because at some point, there has to be some sort of consistency. Would it be this time or is this just another full storm? We'll find out in the next game. Let me know who your man of the match is in the comments. Take it easy.